Hi, it's Tony Tresilius coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And today we're working with the new Crate Paper collection called Moonlight Magic. So first I will show you the collection and then um, the two layouts we did. First up we have uh, Lucky Star, which is a tag journaling box combination. So there's the front side and the back side. Next one is called Happy Place. Front and back side, a nice family tree page. Next one is called Pretty Things and the back side. Moon and Stars and the back side. Ever After and the back side. Heart Flutter and the back side. This one is called My Collection and the back side. And next one is called Pixie Dust and the back side. Next one is called Pure Magic and the back side a pretty sunburst. Next one is called Reminder and the back side. Next one is called Bright and Brave and the back side. And last one is called Collage and the back side. And the embellishments, there are a bunch. There is a washi tape book, so a six by 12 strips of washi tape. And then a six by 12 sticker sheet, front and back. And then a very cool package of washi tape, um, very universal, plain colors. And dimensional stickers, a stamp set, ephemera pieces, puffy stickers, an eight page sticker book, a papery pack, I'll try to get it so you can see what's in there, um, another ephemera pack, the other one was floral, this is um, icon, and then a stationary pack. So that's the collection, and now the layouts. And this week is a treat because Judy did the layouts and there's actually pictures on them versus when I do the layouts. So, um, and they're much prettier with pictures. So for the background on this, we used the back side of Ever After. And um, pretty simple layout. We just took a strip of Bright and Brave. Um, maybe a three inch strip, ran it down the side. Um, this was a situation where the pictures told the story and that was enough. Oh, I forgot to grab the cardstock. Um, it's a blue cardstock that we picked. I'll put it, um, the color we used in the description for you. Um, and then to embellish the page, we used the stationary pack and we used two of the frames. Um, so the gold one and the floral one are from the stationary pack. And then um, from the papery pack, we took this really pretty um, journaling box and then just clustered a bunch of embellishments from the ephemera and papery pack. So that was it first layout. Um, again, let the pictures tell the story and um, there you have it. 
Okay, that's the first one. And the second one. So here's the second one. And this one for the background. We started with the back side of Heart Flower, so the green. And then we took the back side of Bright and Brave, so the pink, and um, did it on a diagonal. And then we took a strip, a one inch strip of Pure Magic and kind of used it to frame our edge or hide our cut seam um, and to tie the two colors together, which it does perfectly. And that was it for the background. Um, and here again, I forgot to grab the cardstock, but I'll put the color in the description. It's um, an ivory color. Um, and then to embellish the page, again, we took the paper repack and the ephemera pack and we clustered the embellishments. Um, we used the journaling box and a bunch of the floral embellishments and one of the titles and clustered it together. For the words for the title, we used thickers that we had in our stash, or Judy used thickers she had in her stash. So there again, you could use um, any thickers, any alphabets. It would be fun to cut the alphabets um, on your Cricut. You could even use the um, Pure Magic paper to cut the letters out if you wanted to, um, or just a solid green or a, a patterned green, lots of possibilities. So there you have it, those are the first two layouts. Again, I will put the item numbers and the cardstock colors in the description, and then, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop me a message. Take care and make it a great day.